Hey folks, this is Chris with Oregon Figs. It's February 22nd, 2023. And these are figs that were picked last September, on September 27th of 2022, off of my in-ground tree of Brown Sugar Crunch. It was incredibly warm and dry. The figs ripened in a period with no rain. So what I've seen in the past is when you get figs to ripen in that type of period, you get dense figs that are incredibly sweet and uh, they dry on the tree and the flavors concentrate. So these should be just phenomenal figs. But spoiler, spoiler alert, I tried a couple of these yesterday and the first thing you have to get past is the texture. They're like pudding. Um, if you've ever frozen uh, blueberries or other berries, when you thaw them out, the flavor uh, becomes, I think, less sweet and uh, the texture becomes like a pudding. So as far as I'm concerned, those are two things that don't really work with figs that well. And uh, let's go ahead and give one a taste. You can see they look really nice. It's brown sugar crunch, but you know, the texture, you can just see they're just, they're like pudding. Let's give one a try here. So not as much sweetness as when you pick them off the tree. It still has that crunch. Brown sugar crunch has a lot of seeds, so that's where it gets the crunch part of the name. It still has that crunch, but it has a figgy component. The only time I've really tasted that figgy component on a consistent level is from Capra fried figs in Northern California. They all seem to have that little figgy component. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I don't. I like just the pure concentrated sweetness. And normally, that's what we get here in the Willamette Valley. We, get, we don't have the wasp, first of all, and if we can get our figs to ripen during that period where it's bone dry, you don't get the figgy component very often, um, and you just get concentrated, dense sweetness, which is what I like. It's almost like candy. So the flavor changes. My take on that is that just like when you pick corn, you want to eat the corn Within the first 24 hours, they say within a half hour, some of the sugars are turning to starch and you lose some of the sweetness. So that's why with fresh corn, you don't want to let it sit around too long. You want to, you know, get it either boiled up or on the grill as soon as you can to keep that sweetness. Well, figs are the same way. If you let figs sit around too long, they're going to lose the sweetness. So um, I know some people use the technique of taking a fig and cutting it in half and taking that fig and put it in, putting it in the refrigerator. And I've put them in the refrigerator like that and I've put them in the refrigerator whole just because I was harvesting a lot of figs that day and I didn't want to eat them all that day just to preserve them to overnight. And I always notice a, a slight decrease in the flavor, less sweetness. Now they do, if you cut them in half, they do dry out and they become more photogenic. There's no doubt about that. They look like they've been a fig that maybe was drying on the tree, but they're different. Different in the fact that they don't have the level of sweetness. So there is nothing like picking a fig off of a tree in an environment where you haven't had any rain and you have low humidity and it's ripened totally in that environment. You're just dealing with sugar that is wonderful and flavors that are just intensified because everything's concentrated. So my take on freezing figs, uh, I just don't think it's a good idea. Um, putting them in the refrigerator overnight, if you have to, uh, because you have, you have too many, you don't wanna eat them all that day. Yeah, that's the way what you're gonna have to do. And that does make good sense. But, and it will make better pictures, right? So you'll be able to have a picture of something that looks like it was actually dried on the tree when in fact it was just dried out in the refrigerator. There's a big difference. The freezing 
what it does texturally to the figs by making them turn into like a pudding and takes the sweetness away, I don't think the freezing is a good idea. Some people say, well, we freeze and then we make our jam later. And you can do that, but you're going to add more sugar. So if you could take the figs and not let them sit around a long, long time and make your jam right in the beginning, you're going to get more natural sweetness from the fig and probably have to add less sugar as you're making your jams. So that's my take on it. I wouldn't suggest doing it. Um, we did it this time because we were both battling with COVID and uh, it just made sense to do that. But I would call freezing figs a fail. So that's just my take on it. And uh, I tried some yesterday and I tried one today. It seems like it's a little bit better today, but it's still far from good. And um, don't put your figs in the fridge if you really want to eat them. Eat them that day. If you ha have too many, put them in the fridge. It's not going to destroy them. And they will become more photogenic if you're trying to take pictures. But uh, there is nothing like a fig picked off of a fig tree in a Mediterranean-like climate where that fig has ripened completely without any rain and in low humidity, around 30%, it becomes true candy. If you don't have that condition, you're not going to get the candy. And you're going to get strange flavors that are going to come out, like, like basically earthy components that in many cases are mold because the moisture and the mold is starting to happen. Even if it's slight, that's gonna give you an earthy flavor. I'm not a fan of earthy flavors. I like sweetness and sugar. So um, stay away from freezing figs if you can. It's probably not the best idea. Okay, this is Chris. Uh, appreciate if you would uh, give this video a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I've got a lot of interesting stuff coming up this year. Thanks. Have a great, great day and a great year.